Lima, the capital of Peru, has become the center of a revolution in gastronomy, with top chefs here basing their cuisine on ancient crops from traditional farmers. For generations, these farmers have been forgotten, yet now they are the ones who hold the key to a variety of sought-after food. A ver, ¿qué nos han traído? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Mira estas papas, ¿eh? hermosas. Pedro Miguel Schiaffino is the creator of Malabar, one of the highest-rated restaurants in the world, and he prizes Peru's ancient potatoes, not only for their taste and variety, but also for their nutritional value. In the future, the people will be more preocupated in alimentarse better and not more. Not long ago, this area in the Andes was a base for Maoist insurgents, a place of violence and bloodshed. But now there's a new kind of revolution, a solidarity between the chefs and the farmers. This is also the goal of IFAD, the UN agency that finds ways to help smallholder farmers improve their income. If we think about Peru as a country 20 years ago, we would have thought that it was a failed state. The food revolution that, is, that we're experiencing now has really given the country an opportunity for building peace and for contributing to social inclusion. The owner of a number of restaurants around the world, Gaston Acurio, is also an agent of social change. Y claramente los cocineros nos encontramos en una posición privilegiada y es nuestro deber hacer que quienes están en esa cadena tengan los mismos beneficios y oportunidades y éxitos que nosotros tenemos. And with this new alliance, traditional food and farming now has a role in shaping Peru's future.